Hey guys, what is going on today? I've got a new sneaker unboxing for you. These came in for Christmas, so um, I got what I wanted from Santa. Hopefully he blessed you guys with pairs of Jordans, Yeezys, whatever, some of the, uh, the Christmas themed shoes perhaps. Um, he brought me a pair of shoes that I don't have any from this line or this model or really anything like this in my collection yet and I'm very happy to finally have something like this so um, without further ado let's just let me show you what we're talking about here here we have what I got for Christmas the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 this is the black this is um, supposed to be white stripe it's pretty much just an off-white um, I've seen pictures online where it's more of a like a bright white um, really in person it's more of an off-white um, but they've released I think this is the the fifth V2 the fourth that where it's just black and then a different colored stripe they had the red green and then the olive I think it the other one was then they had the belugas which I don't actually like the belugas too much I don't like the gray orange combination on those um, I think out of the five I like the red ones the best but these are nice too um, really just nice to have any Yeezy in the collection just because one I this is the first pair of Yeezys that I've owned and secondly I mean this and I'm gonna be honest I tried these on the minute I opened these up um, the probably the definition of a cozy shoe I mean you got this prime knit upper you got the boost outsole Compared to the Ultra Boost, I mean, I feel like the Ultra Boost, nothing can ever touch it, even if it's just like the exact same thing. Um, but this is definitely the second runner up. I don't know how the, I'm guessing the 750s don't fit the same just because it's not um, prime knit upper, also. The regular 350s, the first ones that released, might fit the same. Um, but as far as these go, super comfortable. Um, Got that Supply 350 on the stripe there. Boost on the bottom. You see that Boost mids, or I guess that would be the midsole. Um, I like this pattern actually. I'm for, I forget what the outsole on the first 350s looked like, um, but I actually like this one. I sort of like, it might have been just this was exposed um, on the bottom and it didn't have this. I kind of like this. It kind of looks like it's a like a performance aspect, like it's supposed to add traction or something. Um, but I mean, please don't go running in Yeezys. That's just not a good idea. You got the stitching on the back, and I like how it kind of fades out from that stripe. It's sort of like a like if you were to just uh, like throw paint at a canvas with a brush, it would be it would just be like uh, it would fade out from end to end. I hope that makes any sense. Um, and then I think one of the most, two of the most iconic things about the Yeezys um, is one, this stitching that goes right up the middle and up to the top of the shoe. That's um, definitely something that isn't really in any other shoe. Um, with that being said, it kind of makes these look like a shoe that from like the 1850s or something like that just the way it's like kind of a raw like sewing design I guess um, then the other thing is how there's no real no real lace holes here it's just kind of like someone like jab this pair of scissors into these stuck laces through them which is kind of cool just because it's like it's the shoe is the bare minimum really with the upper I mean the prime it's nice um, but design wise there's not a lot hold not a lot going on there um, but it definitely makes up for that with the outsole, with all that boost. Um, so yeah, very happy to have these guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to do an on feet with these. Definitely going to get a lot of wear out of these. Hopefully, hopefully I wear these a lot. Hopefully. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up for the Christmas Yeezys. Um, and I'll see you next time.